welcome to another video. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Alex, I'm your Disney Dot Down Under, and welcome to day four of our Walt Disney World vlog series. We're off to Animal Kingdom today. All right, so that was super easy. We just showed our, uh, on My Disney Experience, our DVC room reservation. Just, uh, j just there's a section where it says DVC points room. We just showed it to the cast member and she let us straight on in. So super easy if you're worried about um, having to show your evidence of DVC. It's very, very straightforward. So we're just gonna park up and head on into Animal Kingdom. So Amy just waved at one of the uh, parking cast members and completely got rejected. She says, turn the other way. So uh, Quite embarrassing, actually. <laughs> How do you feel about that? You win some, you lose some. <laughs> <laughs> so we just used the car locator for the uh, on the My Disney Experience to save where our parking location is. Very easy, it pretty much locates you and picks your row, you just save it and that way we won't lose our car. It's so very handy. Just have to apologize for my voice this morning. I think I went a bit too hard in Magic Kingdom yesterday. Still got a bit of a hoarse voice from all the shouting and screaming on the rides and just having a great time. So just need, might need to take it a little bit more easier on the on the uh, vo vocal cords this morning. <laughs> But yeah, just heading into the park now. Very excited to see some animals, to go to Pandora and try some snacks. So yeah, looking forward to it. Guys, can't I go to Pandora? It always just takes your breath away. Great. <laughs> Welcome to the Avatar program. Soon, you're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi rite of passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. Okay, start scan. <laughs> ah, you've all got them. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Of your genetic material with the genetic material of one of the Avatar bodies that we already have. Once we do that, you'll be able to link to that avatar and uh, fly. We just got off line of passage. God, I just forgot how good that ride is. It's been so long. It's nice night vision goggles you got there. Spotted a predator <laughs> straight ahead. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> So just got off Pandora and we had to pick up one of these little beauties. Night Blossom. Mm. Good? So good. I haven't actually tried one of these before, I'm very excited. We also got some um, French toast sticks, which look very nice for just cheeky breakfast. So yeah, I'm going to give it a try now. Shiitake mushrooms, that is good. So, so good. Yeah, shiitake mushrooms, that's a good, a good way of saying it. <laughs> that's really, really good. And uh, let's try the French toast six as well. Mmm, mm. pretty good. What's, what's the uh, it comes with um, breakfast syrup, so oh. syrup, syrup. Very good breakfast. <laughs> So we're just heading to Africa now. Not many people know that there's this, this boardwalk through as you go past Flight of Passage. If you keep going through to the edge of Pandora, there's this, this path that goes along the river straight to Africa. So we're gonna go do the safari now and go see some animals. <laughs>
guys, so just got off the safari, that was very eventful. So we got in, it was about a 20 minute wait, and just as we left the station on the truck, there was actually a, we were stopped just before we got onto the savannah. Turns out there was a maintenance issue with one of the trucks up ahead, and so we st stood about, st stood around for about 10 minutes, and Caitlin, our cast member, was amazing. She was just filling the time really, really well. Um, and yeah, so we, we eventually got moving. That was probably one of the best safaris I think I've ever done. So just how active the animals were, particularly the elephants and the rhinos just being just so active and so sort of very close by, We've got some great shots. And also at the end, just, just a warthog just having his breakfast, just chilling and just having a look. Just, and we, we could just see everything, it was just absolutely amazing. So, and, and now looking at the wait time, it's 105 minutes. We literally just got in, just at the right time. So, and for one of the best safaris I've ever done, it just was just meant to be. That was really, really fun. So we're gonna head now probably around to Asia um, to check out the Kali River Rapids and head around to Everest and do some more rides. But yeah, it's been a great day so far. So we've been having a debate about what the River Rapids ride is called. I said it's Kali, Alex. Kali River Rapids, surely. So I just went and asked the guest experience, it's experience team and it's Kali River Rapids. <laughs> I'm gonna revolt, <laughs> I don't believe that. Charlie River Rapids, let's get wet. <laughs> So we're just walking in the Cali River Rapids queue now. Said it right that time, according to the cast member. Just and having, Amy. And Amy, yes, of course. So we're, we're just having a really nice day in Animal Kingdom. We're taking it a lot slower than yesterday. Yesterday was kind of all guns blazing. Let's get on as many rides as possible. Mainly because we were trying to um, push through because we're still feeling quite jet lagged. So trying to keep busy. But today, because we slept really well last night, we're just trying to take it a little bit slower. Just trying to enjoy the vibes of the park, just because it's really nice. Just, it's a good temperature at the moment, not too busy. Um, so we're just taking it slow, doing a few rides, having a few snacks, and just enjoying our time here. So, but yeah, we, we could could do with a nice little uh, splash on the Cali ride now to get a little bit more refreshed, because it is starting to slowly warm up, so. Look at this. Yeah. Sus. No. Sus. No. Yeah. Yes. Come on. It's happened the last time. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Arms in the air. Oh my days. Alright, so we've just come off Cali River Rapids. We've made the discovery that you don't need to be going backwards to get drenched on that ride because we were completely facing forwards and we still got drenched. I think Lara, you got drenched the most, didn't you? Actually saturated. <laughs> <laughs> Eric? I did pretty good. Eric did alright. Yeah. Eric did alright. So uh, we just stopped to have a snack. These guys have had some ice cream cookie sandwiches. I've got actually an iced tea from the Anandapur Tea Company, which is a car just in Asia opposite Cali River Rapids. I've gone for a uh, bl green blackberry jasmine iced tea, so I'm going to try. Mmm. <laughs> That's really refreshing. It's really good. Alright! Good afternoon, adventurers! We are the Discovery Island Drummers. We're celebrating Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary.
you guys excited? Very excited. Tuscan House starving. is one of my favorites. The food is phenomenal. The character interactions are always so good. So our starter just came out. We've got some poppadoms with some rolls, some chutneys, and a nice size salad. Uh, how's your adventure today? Good? Did you go on the safari? Yeah? What animals did you see? An elephant! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bought me a Disney new, but I've never actually tried hog juice before. Passion orange guava juice or jungle juice. I think it has multiple names. Sitch juice as well. Sitch juice as well if you're going to a hard breakfast. So we give it a try for the first time. A good, that's a good vibe, it's very, very good. <laughs> so our mains just arrived. We've got a, uh, all you, it's currently served family style at the moment, all you can eat. We've got chicken. chicken pork, steak, beans, corn, wedges, rice, rice and a green curry shrimp with carrot and I think it's pickled, maybe yeah. pickled onion, and mac and cheese. <laughs> Feeling pretty stuffed off that huge mane, but our desserts have arrived. And look at this, we've got the tree of life there. And there uh, are, I think this is what this is one of Chocolate else? mousse, brownie, and a cupcake. All right, so just, just finished our Tusker House meal. I'd give that meal a rating of five out of five. Just the whole character interaction, the meal with the, uh, just the seasoning on the meat, the spicy food, but not too spicy. Whole experience, everyone was very nice in there. So very, very good meal. So uh, yeah, so we're just gonna head on out now. Probably just we just need to sort out the girls' sim cards again. But we are gonna come back later in the afternoon to do some more rides and also to see Pandora at night. So look forward to that. So Amy, what was your thought on Tusker House? I mean, I love Tusker House. I think the food, the character interactions, the jumboing is good. It's ex it, it's expensive on the si higher price side, but it's worth it. I think. For the experience. Yeah, yeah. If you if you do if you want to do a character experience, probably just once once or twice a trip, then that's probably one of the best ones to do, yeah. just as an overall experience. I'd say. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's been a good time. We're gonna head on out and uh, sort out your SIM cards because that's yeah, gonna we're be going annoying. to Target. Yeah, we'll go back to Target. So, but yeah, it's been a really good Animal Kingdom morning. Okay, welcome to Ace's vlog. Going in. A shady Florida gift shop. This How are we could, feeling? This could be fairly entertaining. I'm slightly scared. Let's <laughs> go. Infinity gauntlet. Fridge magnet. Actually, it's quite nice. This is where you come to get your family Disney gifts that aren't actual Disney <laughs> gifts. They won't know the difference. For a quarter of the price. How much is this? $4.99. <laughs> quite a selection here, isn't there? You can also get your three-piece oven mitt set. Three-piece oven mitt? For $15. <laughs> all of your drinking needs. Wow. Mmm, saucy. <laughs> Secret, your friendly controller, and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. Flash photography? I wouldn't. It alters the homing signal, and that's not good. Oh, and one more thing. Those locked coordinates? We're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the iguanodon, then I'll enlarge the transport field, and boom, you're back with one additional passenger extra large. And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me, what could go wrong? This is Seeker. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the Iguanodon, and get out before that asteroid hits. Let's roll! Okay. Alright, so we're back in the hotel room now after our pretty much full day in Animal Kingdom. We ended up doing, uh, so we did a couple of rides when we went back in. We did Dinosaur, 
always a classic. Love that commentary, love the pre-show, never gets old. Uh, and we had the front front row as well, so seeing the dinosaurs was always always great fun. And we managed to sneak on Everest just before the thunder and lightning returned yet again. I reckon we were the pretty much probably the second second carriage from uh, before they had to close the ride. So we got in, just walked on on a sort of short ten minute wait, and so yeah, that was that was pretty pretty good that we managed to sneak in there. And then after that, we were feeling pretty 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 tired. It was quite hot today, so we ended up sort of just meandering back home. And yeah, since then we've just been sort of sort of chilling in the hotel room, we showered, and we're actually now cooking our first meal in the villa, um, making the most of our kitchen here in the one bedroom villa that we have here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. So we're gonna tuck into some homemade orange chicken, uh, courtesy of Walmart Groceries. <laughs>